Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Cinderella. Welcome to Arthur's Puppet Theater, where you choose what happens. First, choose who's playing each part. Who do you want to play the lead role? Naturally! Who should be the fairy helper? Alright! Who should be the prince? Hey, thanks! And that means DW is the narrator. Cool! And now, on with the show! Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Cinderella, as directed by you. Once upon a time, there was a young lady named Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother and stepsisters, who happened to be of the evil sort. They made her do chores all day, and she was never allowed to have any fun. One night, Cinderella's stepfamily went to the royal ball. As usual, Cinderella had to stay home and clean. Suddenly... A fairy godmother appeared. Poof! I'm here! Ah! I mean, who are you? Why, I'm your fairy godmother, dearie. I'm here to get you to the royal ball. Then the fairy godmother waved her magic wand at Cinderella and said, Transforma outfitio! And quicker than you could say fashion makeover, Cinderella's rags turned into... A beautiful movie star dress. Darling, it's spectacular! I'm ready for the red carpet! The fairy godmother waved her magic wand again and said, Footwario Fancy Mente! And in the blink of an eye, Cinderella's old shoes transformed into... <laughs> glass slippers. These will look amazing in my paparazzi photos! Finally, the fairy godmother waved her magic wand over a pumpkin and said, Jacko Lanterna Transporto! And right before Cinderella's eyes, the pumpkin transformed into... A magical carriage. This is lovely, darling. A classic. Like me. Well, my job here is done, dearie. Have fun tonight. But remember, you must return by midnight. Or else... Well, gotta go. Disappearo myself -o. Poof! Cinderella couldn't believe it. She was finally gonna have some fun. She hopped in the magical carriage which, to be honest, smelt very pumpkin-y, and rode off to the royal ball. Cinderella was very excited as she entered the castle, and she soon caught the eye of none other than... Prince Charming. He walked up to Cinderella and asked, May I have this dance, milady? Cinderella didn't need to think twice before she said, Yes, darling, let's dance. We'll make sure the royal photographers get our good side. Now, as it turns out, the two of them had such a wonderful time dancing that they lost track of time. And suddenly, the clock began to strike twelve. You must return by midnight, or else... Ghostio Disappeario! <gasps> Sorry, darling! 
darling, my star power is failing. I have to go. Do not away. Oh, my heavy heart aches. Fair maiden, please grant me at least this. Tell me your name. But Cinderella had already run off, losing one of her slippers along the way. Outside the castle walls, Cinderella heard a final stroke of midnight fade away. Suddenly, her dress, her glass slippers, and her carriage all transformed back to their original form with a loud... Cinderella exclaimed, Oh, what an amazing night! Dancing with the prince was such fun! Ah, it was a dream come true! And so Cinderella walked home, thinking about everything that had happened that night. The next morning, the prince decided to search for his future princess, and he knew just where to start. His own ballroom. I shall look in the last place I saw her. That usually works when I lose something. Nope, not here. But the prince was determined, so he went on his way to search throughout the kingdom. Later that day, Cinderella was cleaning her stepfamily's house when she heard the knock on the door. It was the prince, and he was holding the missing glass slipper. I have been searching throughout the kingdom. Whoever's foot this fits shall be my wife, if she'll have me, and I shall be her husband. Cinderella tried on the slipper, and of course, it fit. Ah, such joy. I have found my true love. Me too. See you later, alligators. So Cinderella and her prince returned to the palace and lived happily ever after. And the moral of the story is, if you ever have the chance to dance in a castle, do it. You never know who you might meet. The end. Tap the play button to watch the show you made. Or tap the new button. Welcome to Arthur's Puppet Theater, where you choose what happens. First, choose who's playing each part. Who do you want to play the lead role? I'm ready for this. Who should be the fairy helper? Yes. Who should be the prince? All right. And that means I am the narrator. Hey, thanks. And now, on with the show! Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Cinderella, as directed by you. Once upon a time, there was a young lady named Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother and stepsisters, who happened to be of the evil sort. They made her do chores all day, and she was never allowed to have any fun. One night, Cinderella's stepfamily went to the royal ball. As usual, Cinderella had to stay home and clean. Suddenly, a fairy inventor appeared. Ha ha! I'm here! Ah! I mean, who are you? Why, I'm your fairy inventor! My science project for today is to get you to the royal ball! Then the fairy inventor aimed her transcombobulator at Cinderella and said, Fasten your seatbelt. This could be a bumpy ride. Wabam! And quicker than you could say fashion makeover, Cinderella's rags turned into... A spacesuit! Space gear process is complete. Over... The fairy inventor aimed her transcombobulator again and said, I hope this works. Last time, half the kingdom lost power. Kapow! And in the blink of an eye, Cinderella's old shoes transformed into... Space boots. These are 
are perfect for doing the moonwalk. Over. Finally, the fairy inventor aimed her transcombobulator at a pumpkin and said, I usually work with potatoes, but this will have to do. Ba-boom! And right before Cinderella's eyes, the pumpkin transformed into... A rocket ship! Houston, we are ready for liftoff. Over... Hey, it worked! That's surprising. Oh, by the way, the warning label says you must return by midnight, or else. Well, I have to transcombobulate out of here. Bada bing, bada boom! Cinderella couldn't believe it. She was finally going to have some fun. She entered the rocket ship, counted three, two, one, blast off, and flew to the royal ball. Cinderella was very excited as she entered the castle, and she soon caught the eye of none other than... Prince Bot 5000. He walked up to Cinderella and asked... Greetings, human. There is a new dance called The Shake. True or false? You will do the shake with me. Cinderella didn't need to think twice before she said, Set the controls for Planet Chicken Dance in the Awesome Nebula. Over. Now, as it turns out, the two of them had such a wonderful time dancing that they lost track of the time. And suddenly, the clock began to strike 12. You must return by midnight, or else, bada boom. Ground control, requesting we scrub this mission and go directly to blast off. Over. Negative, does not compute, username not found, engaging digital tears, wah, wah. But Cinderella had already run off, losing one of her space boots along the way. Outside the castle walls, Cinderella heard the final stroke of midnight fade away. Suddenly, her spacesuit, her space boots, and her rocket ship all transformed back to their original form with a loud... Cinderella exclaimed, I wonder if you can eat a pumpkin that you were just riding inside. And so Cinderella walked home thinking about everything that had happened that night. The next morning, the prince decided to search for his future princess, and he knew just where to start. The Three Bears House from the Goldilocks Story. Question, have you seen my dance partner? I haven't, but if you want a software update, I have some code that is just right. But the prince was determined, so he went on his way to search throughout the kingdom. Later that day, Cinderella was cleaning her stepfamily's house when she heard the knock on the door. It was the prince, and he was holding the missing space boot. I have been searching both far and wide in equal amounts. My logic is this. If this fits your foot, and you want to marry me, then I will be your husband. Cinderella tried on the space boot, and of course, it fit. I have located the only one who matches my search term, true love. Me too. See you later, alligators. So Cinderella and her prince returned to the palace and lived happily ever after. And the moral of the story is, if you ever have the chance to dance in a castle, do it! You never know who you might meet. The end. Tap the play button to watch the show you made. Or tap the new button to make a new story with different choices.